if we are to follow scripture, there is a clear indication that the Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all the earth who must be praised, will eventually return. From the Old Testament, through various prophets, from Christ himself who spoke about the earthly as well as heavenly kingdom, through even the apostles and that lovely book of Revelation which was revealed through Jesus Christ to the Apostle John, we know for a fact that Jesus Christ will return. It is said through many various scriptures as I mentioned, but if we were to believe the inner rarity of the Bible, as well as the fact that Jesus himself said it, and God, he was God on earth, and God cannot lie, then we have to believe that Christ will return. And this is one of the things, or the pinch marks, or the benchmarks of what Christianity nowadays is about. Yes, we preach the gospel, and we speak about the fact that you can be forgiven of your sins, and through Christ there is salvation, and that there is a redemption from the grave and from hell. But of course there is also the teaching that Jesus Christ will come back to claim all that should and is his. The devil, as it is described, roams the earth and there are various elemental forces and dark forces. But it says in 1 John 1 verse 5 that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. So if we should look towards the Lord Jesus Christ and know that he shall return, then we can always concentrate on the beauty of that expectant hope, the grace that we can get from that knowledge of Christ putting all things which are evil to bed, so to speak, and accomplishing everything that should have been from the dawn of time. And so we look to that final stage of Christ coming back and putting everything back into place. And we state it and we show people daily that God comes quickly, that he shall return and that we shall always be in expectant hope for that last stage of humankind unto eternity.